Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Nahid, back to watch Watchable Stargate SG-1. This is season, oh, wait, wait, no, season six. Season six, episode two. It's called Redemption Part Two. Let's get this thing moving. Oh, let's get this one going, guys. I actually just woke up from like a very long ass nap. Today was a day where I just got to kind of like, so usually I have like a very set schedule, a very, very set schedule, I'll be honest. It's very routine lately. Uh, I do do make time for myself and today was kind of like that time for myself Except the whole entire time. I just slept. I was like, oh, I was out of it, dude All day long. I got to clean and then I slept and then I got up and I was like, damn it I'm bored and I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna watch some TV like You know, I was like, fuck it. Let's just watch some Stargate. Let's just like just, just knock some shit out I guess, you know I mean, I don't consider doing reactions as work, even though it is considered work because I, it, it like, it's a set schedule on my daily, or on my weekly schedule. It's like a set piece of time, you know? And like, I have to do that. Like, I have to, you know? It's, kind of, it's not like, oh, I can't. It's like, I have to. So, but then it's also like, it's a good and fun, I have, you, you know what I mean? Like, I hope that, I hope you guys got the gist of that shit. Either way, your boy just took a long ass nap all day long today. He just like slept from like, fuck it, what time is it right now? Like nine. I slept from like, I think five to nine, like a four hour boy. And you know, those four hour naps were like the, they're, they're the, they're the really energetic, but like, oh yeah, but oh, kind of a nap. I hope you got the gist of that as well. All right, y'all, enough of all that. Let's get this thing going. I'm super stoked, guys. Uh, last few left, left off. We were in a little bit of a conundrum, end of the world kind of scenario. Uh, we'll see what happens. No one's going to help us except for ourselves. So let's get this going and let's see the story. I don't know, maybe he wanted to make sure it was going to work. Is he going to be a series regular? Actually, wouldn't it? Nothing could stop the destruction. What I'm saying, sir, is that we have absolutely no idea how much EM would be required to knock this thing out. So let's all just go home. How long will it take us, sir? Four hours time. That's how long you have to come up with a better idea. Damn. I mean, bro, her last idea failed. It's not like she's always right. You know, that's one thing that has been said about her. She does take these crazy little risks and shit like that all the time, so. Mm-mm. Let's do this. Yeah, buddy. Part two. Let's go. React, you need to chill. The ghoul truly can be defeated, then I wish to be a part of it. Very well. If this doesn't work, we'll be cutting as much as half the remaining time before the gate detonates. No better idea yet? Mmm. I try to help you and Dr. McKay don't see eye to eye. Sir, this has nothing to do with... I believe with... if this plan has any chance of working, it's with your cooperation. Yes, sir. All right. Y'all do gotta work together now, man. I mean, it's not like he's... It's not like that guy doesn't know... It's not like he doesn't know... Shit about the Stargate. Like, he knows his shit. It's if he just hasn't had, like, real-world experience compared to her. But... The fam... These guys are gonna come through and save, save the whole situation. Just watch. That's what I'm betting on right now. That's our ace in the hole. Hope to catch any Jaffa on the ground by surprise. Ah, uh, this about to be sick, dude. For the record, I hate you. <laughs> oh no, I'm rapidly working up to despise. You know, we're obviously gonna have to get over this whole physical attraction. There is none. None. I think I can act as though it never existed. You are to remain on board with Sakra. Why? One day you will be a great warrior. This day the danger is too great. This kid. <laughs> I am not prepared for you to die. Is it not equally dangerous on this ship as it will be on the planet? Go. I mean, I'll do my best to return for you. Come. 
Kid does have a good point. We'll see how we'll see what this kid's got. That's what they're gonna do. All right, the kid's got a he, 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 he can fucking toss. That kid knows what's up. He, okay, I should have given him more. I, I shouldn't have given him the You know what I mean? Like, he is Teal's kid. Oh, well, well, fuck. Well, I mean, he was fucking just. He's, you know, he's, he's doing it. He was. I'm with it. This is not gonna work, I bet. That dude's gonna fuck it up again. Fucked it all up. Medical team to the control. She's gonna wake up, did she? Yeah, okay, dude. Looks like it didn't work. Maybe you need to stop with your ideas. Yeah, we need to stop. Yeah, we need to, he needs to stop with the ideas. It's apparently not working. I do not understand. There's at least eight of them. Ten. How did neither of you get hit? He's always more difficult to <laughs> so helpful to be lucky. You're also like the best, so I mean, yeah. Like moving like the wind and shit. Dude, you do not want to go see her. Oh man, I was just starting to feel better. Never mind, she's being okay? nice. Look, I, I didn't. It was meant for anyone to get hurt, much less you. It's okay, we had to try something. Wow, she's so understand. Oh shit, okay. I just wanted to be a penis. P what? Excuse me? Concert pianist? You know, the guy who plays piano? What do you think I said? Never mind. <laughs> Penis. I had a not so comfortable childhood. Music was my salvation. It had this perfect order for me. It usually is for a lot of folks out there. That's nice. Really. Why are you telling me this? I'm just trying to bond. You're really bad at it. Hospital gowns turned me on. What? Is wrong with you? Okay. Terrible social skills. I turned to science and artist major. Give you the best I've ever seen. I'm just critical because I'm jealous. I'm touched. Really. I'm beginning to realize that I'm not going to solve this and that one of your typically insane ideas is probably going to be our best chance. <laughs> How much time until detonation? You're right. We cut it almost in half. 25 hours. What now? Damn. Well, first I thought I'd get dressed. Right. Get out. Leave. <laughs> right. That thing is fucking nuts looking. Similar construction before. It appears to have been built by the ancients. Where are they getting this technology from, man? This race of beings who long ago created the Stargates. You will slow our pace and risk giving us away. That, yeah. My symbiote heals me. I can go. I can listen to him. Remain here until sundown. We will try to return before then. He's trying to figure it out. Uh, Jonas, Jonas, Jonas. This is going to be really hard to get used to. Inside him out. The gate obviously can't fit through any of these doors. So how did we get it in here? Yeah. The ceiling retracts. Above it is a shaft that leads to the surface, and inside is a crane mechanism. Yeah, moving the gate won't shut it off. I mean, there is nowhere on Earth that... I need to think of something. <laughs> Are they just gonna move the gate? Where are they gonna move the gate to? The Jonas just create up Great fucking plan or what? We have less than 24 hours. Two hours to get the gate to the surface. 
four to get it to Peterson and load it onto a C-17, and two more to fly it to Area 51. The 747 meets us in Nevada, which leaves us 16 hours to get the whole rig mounted and airborne. And none of this is going to happen if we're all just standing around here. I think that this is going to save the planet, and we are going to do it. Move, people. All right, fuck it. She's, she's, it's her, you know. It wasn't all my idea, sir. And I dare say it's not done yet. Works, we won't have a stargate anymore. It did occur to me. Yeah. Boys are coming down, boys. Oh, they're surrounded now. Completely surrounded. Maybe that wasn't the best move. Damn, man, this is kind of fucked. We are simply trying. Here's the part you obviously don't understand. Even if, and I stress if, we're able to successfully dispose of this gate, there's nothing to stop Anubis from starting all this over again with the second gate. No one's going to be running a Stargate program, Colonel. The second gate has to stay buried. Woo! He put he laid down the law. And I think he understands. This is <clears throat> Do you really think you could destroy something created by a god as powerful as Anubis? He did not create the weapon and he is not a god. <laughs> Teal just keeps it keeps it real. And their only real power comes from the Jaffa whom they oppress. You know this kid. I'm not desperate your pathetic little rebellion ends. Yeah. You bring a boy to fight the war of men. Yo, he's not a boy. Maybe he is someone to whom you wish to prove yourself. Bring me the old man. <sighs> I'll be happy to demonstrate to him how a real warrior fights. To the death. He's just a kid. Come on, man. Yes, and? Well, you'll be carrying a very heavy load. How heavy? Gateway 64,000 pounds, sir. That's heavy. That's really heavy. Well, the, the whole rig isn't exactly aerodynamic either. Carter, I'm not so sure I want to know any of this. Mm -hmm. They're working on lightening the 302, but that's why they're going wrong. I mean, believe it or not, every pound counts. Shouldn't have had that cake. That sounds good right now, cake. Wish I could. Anything else? Well, sir, if this works, Jonas really deserves what? A second look. Deserves what? I don't know. Something. What could go wrong? Huh? He's got this. They are getting desperate. This is a des. This is a hail mary desperate move. The little Ry asking him to go out there and try to save his daddy. I'm sure he's pretty much healed due to the little junior he got. But he is being sought after. We'll see what, what skills the little buddy got, man. He proved himself out there shooting. Let's see how his uh, tactical skills are on the battlefield. So once you re-enter the atmosphere, you're going to have to eject. That is after you target to splash down off the coast of Florida. Just when were you going to tell me this part? Just now. <laughs> this going to happen until five minutes ago. Holy crap. What? Is that supposed to be Air Force One or some shit? I don't know. Sorry, I can't see. My eyes have been like dry as fuck. Am I like, what I miss? I don't fuck it's somebody. Whatever. Maybe I'm just dumb. Little kid is using his using the night as an advantage and just moving. Oh, okay, that's what I was like. What the fuck? I was like, what's going on? All right, now I understand why they were like, okay. Straight up has the gate underneath him, man. That's nuts, dude. Nutty. Yeah, I think it's heavy. Altitude is 42 kilometers. He needs to reach 50 before he can fire the main rocket.
Way too heavy. I don't think he's gonna be able to do it. It's too heavy. To start falling. You really want to wish me luck. We're working on it. If you put the 302 in a nose dive, you could cut his descent time in half. Why would we do that? So you could drop the gate in the Atlantic. I'm figuring there's time for it to sink maybe two, three thousand feet. Will that do any good? It's enough to reduce the effects of the devastation. By how much? Not much, sir. Enough that it's worth a shot, isn't it? Uh, so what happens if that thing comes back down to earth hurling down like that? Like, what's the worst that could happen? A lot. What the fuck's going on? Damn, alright kid. Alright kid. Yeah. <clears throat> We're taking it under advisement. Please stand by for our flight. We'll fend those. Maybe it saves a few lives. If this works, we save the entire planet. What chance do we have of that? Well, maybe we can reduce the risk a little. How? What's up? How? Well, the instability of the Nequadria is... is relative to the size of the burst you're trying to extract. Even a second in hyperspace potentially gets us millions of miles. Make the call. This is General Hammond. I need to speak with the president immediately. Damn, this is altitude seven six kilometers. Uh, on edge. Oh, fuck. Okay, we have orders, Starflight. We're gonna try it your way, sir. We're gonna write a new subroutine. It'll be ready to upload in a few minutes. All right. Well, in the meantime, I'll just keep following. <laughs> yeah, I love how he's just like still so nonchalant about that. That's fucking terrifying. The Rai is going to destroy this thing. Uh-oh. He's getting followed by gliders. You won't have much time. I know. Sir, if this works. I know. Sir? What? Good luck. Yeah, did it get out in time? This is Observer 1. There is no sign of a ship. Oh, fuck. It worked. Deep Space is estimating that the gate detonated over 3 million miles from Earth. Sweet. This is Observer 2. I have a visual on a shoot. Moving in for confirmation. Hell yeah. Mission Command, the cockpit module is intact. The team is on the way. Roger that. Hell yeah. Colonel O'Neill is conscious and waving. Hell yeah. That's a success. Damn, what's going on with our gate though, bro? What the fuck? This is nowhere near good. Where the what the fuck is going on with our gate? Ryak, get the fuck out of there. Do they have ejection things in their in their thing? Is that little boy gonna make it? It's the end of Little Ryak. Let me know if I can help. I will. Thanks. That means you don't hate me. Me. Too bad for you. Why? I was more attracted to you when I did. What? Ugh, okay. You have any assignment you want. Actually, I've always wanted to command my own boat. The Navy? 
something a little smaller, with oars. Eh. Uh, we deserve it, Jack. Is that it? What the, what's going on? Hammond. We're receiving a communication. What? The weapon being used by Anubis has been destroyed. We feared it was too late for the Tari. Yeah, I was close there for a minute. Yeah. We approach the cargo ship. We're about permission to land. Comrades aware of their approach, sir. Permission granted. Welcome back, Teal. Good job. It is, in fact, Ryak. He deserves the honor. Ah, uh, he made it. What exactly did we give the Russians? Good old American dollars, Major. What? You're kidding. And the plans for the X302 and 303. Really? So we... Okay. And one more thing. So I hear you're a pretty good pilot. Not too great time probably What's the other thing, man? <laughs> so you sure you don't want to stick around for a while, kind of hang out? Ryak has chosen to help Braytac spread the word of our cause. Well, it's good to see you again. Hell yeah. So what is... So, okay, what else did we give the Russians? That's my next one. Colonel, Dr. Jackson is gone. Yeah, I noticed that. Not a day goes by when I don't think about what happened. I stood by and watched while he saved my people from disaster. The it best. should have been me who jumped through the glass, disarmed the device, and he's gone because I didn't. It wasn't your fault. I don't blame you. If I could go back and change what happened, I would do that, but I can't. All I can do is try and change what happens from now on. Is... I don't want you to exonerate me. I just want to be given the opportunity to prove that I can make a difference. <laughs> I, okay, I hope that works. Damn. I know this is not what you want to hear, but part of the deal to get the Russian Stargate involved agreeing to let one of their officers join SG-1. This is the thanks I get for saving the world again. Wow. I'm sorry, Jack. You're going to have to live with it. Give them their own unit. They'd be happy with that, wouldn't they? What about SG-1? Actually, General, uh... I've already chosen our new team. Oh man. How do I look? You might want to lose the helmet. Good guess on the green. SG1, you have a goal. Damn, bro. Uh, I don't know how I. Uh, my heart, it hurts. Oh. But it's fine, I guess. You'll grow on me, right? Oh man, at least SG1 continues, right? <sighs> man, a lot happened. Holy shit. That was intense. That was a lot. I mean, for real, fam, like that was, that was a, a huge string of emotions back there cuz first of all, we lost our original gate. That's gone. That is gone. We I mean, very intelligent idea. I thought I thought it was a very good idea the way that we yeah, the way that we got rid of it. I thought that was very smart. But it just sucks that our gate is gone, the original gate. It's like somewhere out there floating in the fucking middle of the universe, man, which is just yeah, it sucks. But I guess we got the second gate now. I mean, it's I feel I guess it's really good that we got we had a spare. Uh and the Russians are just not they just don't have that kind of a how do I say this? I wonder how much they paid for the Stargate. I wonder what the cost of a Stargate is to the Russians. I know there was a lot of other deals involved, but like, what is the actual monetary cost of their Stargate? And like, good thing the Russians didn't have that much money. That's why like, you know, it helped that we were able to kind of fund the situation, you know? Uh, Ryak, I'll be honest, man, that kid was MVP. He was the most valuable player this whole episode, bro. He came in, he saved his dad. He, he sold the fucking, uh, you know, uh, the fighter jet thingy, the glider, I mean. Yeah, he took the glider in. He destroyed the fucking weapon, everything. So it's, yeah, dude, good, good stuff, kid. He came out, bro. Yeah, that kid is Teal's kid, and I'm glad to see him kind of get, get this little bit of redemption, in my opinion. Great stuff that the episode is called Redemption as well. Um, <clears throat> so one thing that I have in my head that I'm questioning about right now is the, what are other weapons Anubis might have? He's obviously gaining ancient technology, but like, 
This isn't the only thing. There has to be more. And can you replicate this? It's a little bit terrifying because, I mean, we all, we all know that the ancients were like, they were the first. And they, create, they, they were the ones that, from what, what I understand, created the gate system. Kind of created it all. And not even the Asgard know much about them. So if Anubis is gaining their technology somehow, what else does he know? It's a little scary, a little frightening in my opinion. Um, what else? I am wondering what's up with Carter and that guy. I hope there's nothing. He kind of feels like a douche to me, but if that works, I guess it works. You don't control who you like, right? You just, I guess, you know, people love what they love. So that is what it is. Uh, and then O'Neal. Man, I got to say this about O'Neal. He, he's, he's dealing with a lot, man. You know, he's not really good at showing his emotions. He shows it in so many different ways. He pretty much lost a brother in arms, uh, and a brother in general, uh, like a few days ago, dealing with trying to save the planet, uh, and then flying the Stargate out into space and having it fall back and losing the original... You know what I mean? There's just so many events that just went across this man in like these last couple of like episodes, and he's still just holding on. And he's doing a great job. I'm glad that he listened to Jonas. Uh... And I guess I'm, I'm ready to see what the new SG team is about. You know, maybe I'll get used to him. It does suck to see Daniel just to be replaced. I mean, because it's what it is. He's being replaced. But things must move on. You know, nothing can stay stagnant. Everything always changes. People change. Those are the facts of life. And yeah, that's, that's what's going on. So uh, I am. I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious and I'm excited to see how these episodes come out. So, Either way, thank you all for watching with me. I appreciate it. Love you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.